Hey guys, what's up? This is DJ Nia with you back again with another tutorial of Record Box. Most of the people are uh, like confused about Record Box or they want to use uh, Serato or Factor. You know, uh, there are diff various kinds of softwares nowadays where people can actually use and play along with the uh, you know uh, Pioneer CDJ players. <coughs> Personally, I have played uh, in Factor for almost uh, three to four years. Uh, now I find it more easier to play with record box rather than uh, using Tractor because in Tractor and Serato you have to connect all these uh, hardwares which is you know external and it takes a little bit of time to set up things but it's it's everybody's personal choice like you know if, if you really like Tractor or Serato whatever it is it's it's your personal choice in Tractor and Serato you have a lot of effects where you can use it you know it's easy to browse while playing and um, you know searching the songs everything even in uh, Pioneer CDJs nowadays you have the option of searching uh, plus in record box you have the option of searching most of the people they just keep uh, fighting in and about of which software to use uh, you know along with your uh, CDJs well today this tutorial is about record box and how happy I have been uh, using record box and I teach my students also to uh, use record box rather than spending a lot of huge amount of money on buying tractor or Serato so here we are just watch this tutorial where I'll be showing how to set up your uh, record box uh, uh, software plus uh, how to organize your music uh, accordingly so record box users you can use record box uh, in two different ways one is performance mode and one is export mode export mode is free so uh, Pioneer has not yet started to charge you for anything so you can actually use to organize your music organize your playlist and be ready for your gig so guys watch this tutorial don't forget to subscribe like and comment uh, for more videos like all this. right guys here I am with the record box open this is record box 4 uh, if you want to know the version uh, you can actually check about record box and uh, it shows you it's 4.25 uh, I had record box 3 before if you have record box 3 and 4 please do not keep both together uh, because it will create a conflict so it's better to keep the latest version as always now this is exactly the same how your pioneer cdj's uh, display looks like so if i want to uh, check my songs which i have imported already here uh, but before i go there i will show you how to import the tracks then after that organize it accordingly as per playlist now all your songs which comes here it comes from the collection now that is where your entire song is sitting now what we're gonna do is to import something new and I'll show you how exactly you can make your playlist and organize your music so to import your play uh, import your folder or a song you have to just go to file import import folder right now I want to import like five six songs together and put it into a playlist so I'm going to import a folder now this shows me takes me to my music folder or else you can choose if it's not showing in yours and um, I am going to select so I'm going to select uh, the drop folder we have a lot of songs with a lot of nice drops so I'm just going to take this open it up and it has got 27 songs which has imported now when it comes to the collection actually it's all mixed up as you can see I don't know where exactly is my import gone now to find that you have these titles on your screen and you can actually select as per what you wish to see just on the title any of this title you can actually right click it and you can select whatever you want to see so now I don't want to see attribute um, I don't want to see the artwork um, I don't want the color then I don't want the genre okay data is fine waiting I don't need so now for me to find where my songs are it is actually in the location folder so when you go there there it is so 
if you if you remember i actually imported my song from the path which is music then from the music it is uh, drop so i can actually sort my music here like like that and from here i can search for my drop so my drop would be uh, top a b c d so it's i'm sorting like that so a b c d e yeah there you go so e f g after j c it should be drop There you go. So that's my drop folder. See, users, studio nine, music, and drop. So I'd select that drop first one and my last from the drop folder, last song from the drop folder, which is this. So just press my shift key and click. So I get all these things selected. Now I have to create a playlist where I show my drop. and go to collection back again and just drag and drop this to the drop and when i click my drop playlist all i get all the 27 songs in my drop folder now sometimes what happens is if it's your new song now i have analyzed all these things like i i can see my bpm and my keys everything is analyzed now i don't need this color let me take this out okay so if yours is not analyzed, if your BPM is not showing or your key is not showing, all you have to do is just click that track or con command A or control A on PC and right click and analyze track or analyze key. So what happens is if you click that, it starts analyzing and it will give you your keys or your BPM. That's how easy it is. Now from this folder, uh, I don't know I must have downloaded a lot of things and I have not heard about these songs and I want to preview it I can actually go here and just play and I can uh, preview from here or else I can actually double click it sorry or else drag and drop on my LCD screen here which is of my uh, Pioneer CDG exactly same like that now here we do our homework to set up our cue point, your hot cue points, your loop, you know, and you set up the grid locks, everything. Now, if you can see here, I'll just zoom it. You can see here, my grid is not sitting on the right time. I want it to be perfectly on the time on my downbeat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. This is the center of the line where you actually control your grid take it there okay so this is where i want my grid to start not from here because um the record box has automatically taken it from there there's always mistakes which happen because every song they have a little bit of seconds where it will be empty so it's better always to you know align our songs according to the perfect grid so i'm going to go to my grid and Click this first beat of the bar to the current position button. And there you go. Now my, all my grid is aligned perfectly to the beat. Also, this is my first downbeat. Then after that, I go to the Q. Then I press my Q. Then I save it to my memory. So here it is. So that's my first Q point. So as you can see, I have done my first Q point. I don't have to go to my CDJs or any of the MIDI players of Pioneer, I don't have to um, go and, you know, manually do my queuing again. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's my queue done. <coughs> now, I'm planning to have a hot queue point somewhere here. So just browsing here, I see I, there's a drop there. So let's have a listen to it. No, I don't want, yeah. Okay, maybe maybe here okay yeah i like that drop so i'll just bring my point there and press my hot cue button so when the hot cue button is pressed it's automatically saved here okay me okay me okay me 
So that's one hot cue point which I've made. I want to make another hot cue point maybe in the center of the track. So I just go there and make another one. Then Get me up. So that's how you make your hot cue points and you know your cue point. Now, how about a loop? Mostly loop we use as a safety precaution or just to bring your beat in or out. So I will always keep a loop at the end of the song. Maybe, you know, people, they come and talk to you and the song goes off and off and off and uh, you don't have time to mix. So it's always better to have a loop point somewhere at the end of the song. So here, I'm going to make an in point of my loop. You can see it's Q and loop. So that's for the loop in point. Then and that's my out point. So I took actually eight bars. Now, if you want to extend it to 16, you can actually extend it to 16, 32, you know, and so on. Or if you want to make it smaller, you can make it smaller too. So that's how you do it. And after that, don't forget to save it to your memory. So there you go. And when you take this back to your CDJs, and connect your record box, um, hard disk or USB, all these points will be there present. So you don't actually have to do the queuing again or the hot queuing again, you know, all these things. Even if you're doing the queuing and hot queuing on your CDJs, you can actually save it there and bring it back again into record box to save your set. You know, so it's that easy, guys. So that's how you uh, uh, organize your songs now that is one i did now see you can see all these marks here which uh, shows that okay i have done something here that's my cue point now let's take this one okay here let's play it this sounds good so i have saved my cue point so i come back to my first uh, point and so i have to save that cue because it's automatically and that's fine so save that memory then i just go here to can save a hot cue point there so that's my first hot cue point that's done um, just go here and check out my loop point save it to memory so there you go guys i have done two tracks right now so one by one if you organize your music every time you know just don't keep it as a cluster that you will do it at the end of the month you know you got 150 songs or 200 songs whenever you're downloading something whenever you're free just sit down in front of your computer or laptop wherever you're getting your music um, organized and just start doing it it makes your life more easier as a dj you know just organize your music, be prepared so you know what you're playing or else uh, while at the gig you'll be actually confused or oh, what am I going to play or you play some song which actually is not that great song. So that's it guys and after this now what we have to do is like for example I have all these songs analyzed okay I'm just showing you a bit. Now I have my devices which is my normal hard disk which is connected to uh, uh, my my uh, uh, computer right now so uh, here I can you know I can put my device name whatever it is uh, categories how I want uh, things to show up my column you know sorting options a lot of options uh, for your hard disk as well now from here I want to actually my drop folder I want to export it to my hard disk for that I just go to my sync manager and there you go this has been synchronized before with my uh, hard disk, which is here, which shows here. And I'll just click synchronize. And yes, um, and uh, I have my playlist here. So I have all these things you already inside this, but only my rock and drop folder is not there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check my rock and drop folder and uh, just click this button to synchronize. So it is done. If it's synchronizing, if there's too many of songs, it shows you that synchronizing percentage. But now I have only two, like 27 songs each, so that's fine. 
close this. Uh, yes. Okay. Sync manager. It's yeah. It's showing here now. Down. You can see exporting volume Neo, six percent. So it's synchronizing now. So I'm going to fast forward this and I'll show you um, after the synchronizing um, and I'll show how it looks like in the CDJs. Well, I'm using XDJ RX and I'll show you how it looks like uh, when you export all these things and how it looks like in XDJ RX or even if you put the same thing in any Pioneer CDJs 2000 Nexus or 2000, it will show you exactly how you have exported it and how you have actually done your, you know, um, how you have organized it. So there you go, it's exported now. I'm going to close this. All right, guys, so I have actually exported all my files, my playlist uh, into my SSD. And now we will check uh, uh, how our playlist looks like uh, in the record box of uh, Pioneer XDJ RX. Now what I use is basically XDJ RX, but this will work on 2000 Nexus or any 1000 Nexus, whatever you have everything so <coughs> this is my player uh, I'm going to connect this now with the XTJ I'll show you guys okay now it's connected uh, USB 1 so when I check playlist as you can see uh, there is drop and uh, these are all the songs which I had. So if I load, and you can see here it's showing A, that's my Q point. And uh, my hot Q point is showing here, which I have already saved. So when I do that, It starts from that hot cue point and again I have something over here which is a call button I can call the loop so when I call the loop on this side so that's my loop which you can see then my loop is activated all I have to do is reloop so that's that's how you do it so uh, So guys, that's up uh, for today. Uh, as I told you, it's uh, much easier in record box. All you have to do is arrange your songs how you want it and how you basically would love to uh, organize your playlist. And accordingly, record box gives you a lot of options where you know you can uh, sort your music uh, genre wise uh, or uh, play. Um, what do you call that? Uh, BPM wise or key wise anything you want to do you can do it accordingly and you just have to click and export and sync it to your hard disk and once it's done just take your hard disk or a USB and go start playing. I hope you like this uh, tutorial and if you have any more questions please comment like and uh, subscribe don't forget to subscribe I'll be coming up with more and more tutorials of record box plus uh, about DJing as well uh, any questions you want to know anything you want to learn please subscribe and uh, comment on this uh, video down below. See you guys in the next tutorial then. Ciao.